Welcome to White Lecture Online. Sometimes you'll see rationalize the denominator. So what did it mean by that? Well, it turns out that whenever we have radicals in the denominator, we would like to get rid of them. That is a normal practice in algebra. We don't want the final answer to have any radicals in the denominator. And so that's what we mean by rationalize the denominator. It's getting rid of those radicals. Now the question is, how do we do that? And the key is that we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the conjugate of the denominator. Now, of course, by now we know what the conjugate is, which means we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of this, which is going to be the square root of 5 minus 4. Of course, whatever we multiply the denominator with, we must do exactly the same with the numerator. So we multiply times the square root of 5 minus 4. Again, notice that this is equal to 1, so we haven't really changed anything. The same over here, we're going to multiply this times the conjugate of the denominator. So this would be 3 times the square root of 3 plus 2 times the square root of 5. And of course, we must do exactly the same to the denominator. 3 times the square root of 3 plus 2 times the square root of 5. Notice that this is the conjugate of this, just like this is the conjugate of that. Now, when we multiply the denominators, that makes it pretty easy because we've learned how to multiply a binomial with its conjugate. So the denominator, let's start with this one here, the denominator will simply be the square of the first term, which is 5, minus the square of the second term, which is 16. So that's going to be the new denominator. In the numerator, we end up with 3 times the square root of 5 minus 4. And of course, we'll have to multiply that out. So that becomes equal to 3 times the square root of 5 minus 12 divided by 5 minus 16 is minus 11. And then we could leave it like that, or we could write it as follows. This is equal to negative 3 over 11 times the square root of 5. And then this divided by that would be plus 12 over 11. So we could either write it like this as the final answer, or write it like that as the final answer. Either way, we got rid of that radical in the denominator. We do the same over here. So this, first we'll take a look at the denominator. So since we have to multiply this by its conjugate, we take the first term squared, which is 9 times 3, which is 27, minus the last term squared, which is 4 times 5, which is 20. In the numerator, we end up with the square root of 5 times 3 times the square root of 3 plus 2 times the square root of 5. And so let's go ahead and simplify that. So in the denominator, we have 27 minus 20, which is 7. In the numerator, it's five, the square root of 5 times this, which is 3 times the square root of 15, plus the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5 times 2, which would be plus 10. And again, you can leave it like this, or you could write it as 3 over 7 times the square root of 15 plus 10 over 7, or simply leave it like that. It's just a personal preference, and that is how we rationalize the denominator.